this outfit is everything. The shoes I saw when you were sitting over there, I was like, oh, do you see those shoes? Thank you, thank you. Jen Austin, uh, we worked together uh, when I was nominated for an Emmy. I, I borrowed her from Angela Beck. Oh my God. <laughs> and I mean this as a compliment. You are terrifying on this show, but it's so important that you are because otherwise the stakes of the story don't feel real. So as an actor, like, what are you channeling to really bring this very distinct energy for this character? Because she's really like a powerhouse. Maybe because deep down inside, I'm mean. <laughs> if you talk to my children. <laughs> um... Uh, What else? I um I I I I you know I, I swallow the Kool-Aid. I I um I don't have a problem with people not liking me. I I guess I've played quite a few people that you know fans come up to me and they're like, we hate you. <laughs> and um I like that. They give me room. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I, I have no problem not being liked. That's a strength, though. That, that doesn't come from nowhere. That, that comes from experience. Like, one of my favorite characters when I was introduced to you was Tara's mom in True Blood. I still quote you to this day if I'm staging my house. I'm like, <laughs> I was, I was, when True Blood, I was, Alan Ball characterized me as the worst mother in the world. Um, you know, then you, 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 you feel for them. Um, but that particular role, I, I read the book, um, The Boy Called It. You know, so you just can, you, you can really just, there are some people, and, and I, 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 I take it from fear, that they are so afraid of being attacked, or they've had a past where they were attacked, that they have developed such a coping mechanism to, to, to get to someone else before they get to them. And that's, that's, that's what I, I channel. Or maybe it's just my mom. <laughs> about Paper Girls that draws you to this series. I feel like at this point you kind of can pick and choose what you want to work on. You're very sweet, but no. <laughs> I audition. I audition. I I haven't there's some roles that I didn't audition and that and it was given to me. And um, there's something about the audition process. So roles that were given to me when they, when you get there on the first day you don't know what they want. But when you've auditioned and you've gone through callbacks, I'm actually, it's, it's more relaxing showing up the first day because I know what I'm, I need to do. Um, and the audition process, um, you find out what they need, you add a little bit to it, so I love auditioning. They sent me the material, it was a self-tape. Um, I, I did what I thought they wanted, then they, I had a working audition because they wanted me to switch things around. I'm so grateful for the direction. Um, and then the call back and yay, they picked me. Yeah, your character is like a master of disguise in the show and you know, it's like super ruthless. How, how, do you, how do you feel about your character wanting to hunt down and kill children in this show? Does that, does that make a difference for you? Like, Well, as a mother, I can tell you, sometimes children are bitches. <laughs> they don't do what you say, they don't do homework, they give you attitude. Yeah. We can make more. <laughs> <laughs> what was the most physically challenging thing to do? Because I feel like there's so much action and there's a lot of running on this show. It's like Tom Cruise boot camp, just like running here, running there, running everywhere. Um, luckily, Pyrus doesn't wear heels. <laughs> um, uh, and I did my own stunts um, for the most part, I believe. I'm trying to remember it all. Uh, no, there was one that there was a stunt double for one. Um, I just, you know, uh, it's action. You know, there's uh, there's a robot we got to keep up with. Um, uh, you know. Uh, the, the graphic novels take you on such an amazing journey, and I, I want to give them I want to give them justice. So you know, uh, 
champagne problems. I get to be physical. <laughs> Do you have a favorite scene from the shop? Favorites. Like when you're when you're playing nice and then she really comes out, that's my favorite moment for your character. She's a chameleon. And 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 that I am beyond grateful to play. I mean, come on. You know what I mean? Yeah, she is a chameleon. Um, and I, 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 I like I like throwing in some humor, you know, so that you're you're thrown off guard. Yeah, my, my, my go-to is always to make the crew laugh and the producers cry. That's what I try to do. Did I interrupt the question? Oh, yeah. Did you read the graphic novels before? No, I did not. Have you read them now? Yes, because I, I never try to read the materials beforehand because I don't want to get, I don't want to get freaked out. I don't want to realize, oh my god, this could be, or oh my god, they have created this world. So I try to go in and just go one human being to another human being, let's play, let's see if we can find common ground. And then once the contract is signed, <laughs> I dive in. And um, I, once I got the, the role, I went down to one of the famous uh, comic shops in Los Angeles and waited in line and got a first edition of Paper Girls and put it in a plastic uh, envelope. It's on my bookshelf, nice and neat. I wish I had taken it with me though to have it signed. On, when, one day I'll figure out a way to, to get it signed. Um, but no, I, I, I'm a fan now, but I wasn't a fan before. Um, and, and, but that's what I always do. Because if, if, like with True Blood, I, I didn't know that Alan Ball had won an Oscar until after the contract is signed. Is there anything from the graphic novels that you would like to see? Or like that you'd like to play out? I, I would like to, in future um, seasons, go into... Um, there's a, a, a there's a like kind of prehistoric uh, paper girls, you know, with the with that particular character and who becomes a mom at a young at the same age that these women are coming to age because of the culture that she's in. She's a mom and that baby. Let's explore that world because Pyrus has to go there too. So one final question: uh, the show really addresses a lot of like the fear and um, loneliness that people from ostracized identity groups experience. So was that something that attracted you at all to the project or was that something you fell in love with once you actually started making the show? Something I fell in love with once we started making the show. As well as talking about things that are part of life that aren't discussed enough. I love the fact that we talk about, you know, girls getting their period. I mean, I, I, I have mom friends who were like that, that huge event in their life not being discussed out in the open, but I find so sad. I'm glad that I've made a show that my, my kids can watch <laughs> and, and we get to talk about um, all of those kind of topics. I also love the fact that you know Asian Americans are the leads in this. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, um, about time. Well, thank you so much, Adina. So you are you. fabulous on this show. I it was a joy it. to watch you. Thank you. I love a good villain, so, you know, <laughs> that was everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I haven't seen it from beginning to end. You know, I, it'll, I've only seen little bits during ADR, so I'm, I'm looking forward to tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Oh, wow. Amazing eyeshadow, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.